Medical technology is advancing at such a rapid rate that some parents are now choosing to have their baby's cord blood stored as an insurance policy for the future. The blood in the cord is full of stem cells which have the potential to grow into different types of tissue, which is perfectly matched to the baby. As yet, the technology is in its infancy, but over the next few years science may work out how to use these cells effectively, which in turn could save lives. It came from when my wife was expecting her first child. Um, basically, I wanted the cord blood collected, not being a sci academic scientist at that time. Uh, I knew the, the potential benefits that would be coming around the corner in the future. Oh, I see the heavy eyelids. When Meg's son Jack was born, her doctor took blood from his umbilical cord that is now stored both here in the UK and in the United States of America. When I was about five months pregnant with Jack, I was on the internet um, talking to a friend of mine in the, in the US who was also, who's also pregnant at the time, and she had asked me which company I was going to go with. It wasn't uh, a question in her mind if it was which. And I hadn't even heard of anything to do with cord blood storage. I'd heard a lot of things about stem cell research, there's quite a bit on the news about it, um, but was intrigued by what she was saying and googled it and started reading about it. And when I was seven months pregnant, um, I was in the US on a trip visiting family and friends and I had several friends that um, had just recently had kids or were pregnant and they were all talking about it. It was the big buzz. And I realized that, you know, there are things that are trends, but um, this is more than a trend. It's, it's a life insurance policy for your child. If he ever needed a bone marrow match, if um, he had cancer, he has his match waiting for him in a vault. We wouldn't have to go looking for a match. On top of that, it's uh, a one in two match for my husband or myself if we ever got cancer, and a one in four match if Jack ever had a sibling. So, and we could carry the, the matches through the family as well. My little girl was the first cord blood unit to be in there, and my little boy's was about the well, a couple of hundredth, but they're both in there now. Stored. It gives me quite a, a warm feeling to know they're there, really. I hope they never want to be used, but um, it's nice to know that they're there. I would do it again in a heartbeat, and everyone that I know who is expecting, I sit them down and I tell them about it, and I send them to the website. I'm not pushy about it. Obviously, it's, it's a private decision, it's a personal choice, and it's financially something that they have to consider. But um, I haven't recommended it to anyone that I know who hasn't gone for it. After you read about the benefits, and there are no risks, it's, it's after he's delivered, it's the umbilical cord that snipped, the part that's snipped off. I mean, it's something that's going to be thrown away. So when you consider that something that's going to be thrown away can save your child's life for his whole lifetime, it can conceivably save another member of your family's life, and doesn't cost very much money, it's kind of a no-brainer. Mm -hmm.